This is where a new way of living began. The Saudi Crown Prince's mega project, Neum, was touted as a $500 billion city state that would transform the kingdom. But it and other projects linked to Mohammed bin Salman's Vision 2030 plan could be at risk as part of efforts to rein in spending by about $26 billion. The kingdom's finance minister says the new measures are painful but necessary. The economy in Saudi Arabia has been uh, under a lot of stress. That, that's why uh, the, uh, the government withdrew $23 billion from the reserve uh, in March. This is the largest uh, withdrawal from, from the reserves ever in the history of the country. The plans include tripling sales tax from 5 to 15 percent, a tax introduced two years ago to reduce Saudi Arabia's reliance on oil income. But it's not been enough to counter what the finance minister described as the three economic shocks from the coronavirus, the decline in oil prices, the shutdown of the local economy and extra spending on health care. From the start of next month, a living allowance for government employees will be suspended, though all the savings are unlikely to address the kingdom's huge budget deficit. I think uh, the failure in the economy of Saudi Arabia, no one can understand it uh, without looking at the uh, lack of leadership and the uh, basically corruption and mismanagement of the resources. If we, if we add to this the um, chaotic uh, foreign policy that Saudis followed in the last uh, 10 years, it can be understood uh, yeah, that, you know, this kind of cuts will continue, actually. This is the starting point. The kingdom has waged an expensive war in Yemen for more than five years. It's caused what the UN says is the world's worst humanitarian crisis. And even as it tells its own people the austerity measures are needed, the government is trying to finance a $372 million takeover of the English football club Newcastle United. Like many countries, the coronavirus has battered Saudi Arabia's economy. This is the Grand Mosque in Mecca. During the Muslim fasting month of Ramadan, there are usually 1.5 million visitors. Now, just a few dozen. We have many employees and a large staff, from workers, technicians and also translators. Now they're all idle because there's no work. The Vision 2030 plan had called for slowly moving away from depending on oil and diversifying the economy. By this year, the kingdom was supposed to improve living standards and increase tourism. Instead, 2020 will likely be remembered for its economic hardship. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera.